basically, I have to rest my foot, this one here. So, Lou, are we booking the Orient Express? Morning. So, I think it's day 25. We're in Leon. It's our rest day today. We've had a good sleep in the hotel. Kids are, some are awake and on their phone and some are asleep. And uh, Mark's foot is no better this morning. He still can't walk on it. So, this morning I've been to the chemist and got him something to help a little bit. And we're off to see a doctor. How are you feeling this morning? Um, it's sore when I put my foot down and then lift it back up again. So whenever I sort of angle it, it's like a pull, a real sharp pain pull. So we think we know what it is. Um, I think effectively rest is what's needed. So we'd better go and check it out. I'm a brave boy. <laughs> Doctor said I was brave. It's a uh, plantif. Plantar fasciitis or Plantar fasciitis? fasciitis. Oh, like that. Two days rest, uh, ibuprofen, paracetamol, and, and I've got to get some plantar gels for my shoes from the pharmacy. And so, then start walking slowly. And start walking slowly with no weight on my back. So I'm taking my free backpack day. Is it Lou? Plantus. Plantar fasciitis. Fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis. Basically, I have to rest my foot. This one here. You can't say anything, but it's in there. So what have you got? Um, I've got dollar stop. <laughs> dollar stop. Paracetamol solution. Yeah. I have. Uh, Just an interesting fact for you because you you might not know Mark as well as I do, but he doesn't find taking tablets very easily so everything always has to be oral solution <laughs> so quite often if you're in the uk and you know cowpole um i quite often drinking on the kids i for been cowpole um we've also got neo neo bufen which is ibuprofen 600 mil yeah like a strong anti-inflammatory yeah and we've also got these gel things for my feet is mm. we do gracias gracias and my feet things and we have coffee and we have coffee while the washing is in the laundrette day 25, day 25. <laughs> cheers cheers there's red wine in here yeah mark's not on the coffee and i'm on the wine we're both having a very well earned small glass of wine today okay bit of a stressful day yeah, it's been a bit of a different day to what we normally expect on the rest day. Yep. We normally get to our hotel, uh, we empty our bags out and we literally just vegetate. And we go to the laundrette. And we go to the laundrette. But instead, I was down the farmer chair at 6.30 this morning getting crutches. Yep. And then we went to the urgent care centre at the hospital, which is right next to the cathedral in Leon, if you're ever looking. Really, really good. Very good. Very well organised and easy to find as well. Yeah. In and out within like 20 minutes. And we did see a few fellow pilgrims in there too with other ailments. Yeah, we saw a pilgrim that we actually knew. Yeah. <laughs> going in after us. Yeah. Yeah. So um, hopefully she's okay. Anyway. So yeah, so we have been doing a bit of chilling out. Mark's obviously had his feet up all day resting because that's what he's been told that he needs to do for at least another 24 hours. And my foot is currently up on ice. So it's up on ice at the moment and we're going to see what it's like tomorrow morning and make a judgment as to whether he needs a little bit more rest time before we get going again because obviously it's not worth damaging in the name of the Camino. We no. need to be sensible about that. So. No, totally. So we have though, you may have noticed, we have moved. <laughs> yes. Um, so um, we were in a hotel just down by the station. Um, unfortunately, um, not quite fitting our requirements for a couple of days within Leon. Um, the Wi-Fi wasn't great, um, the kids were struggling, um, and um, we were all in one room. It's actually one of the smallest rooms. It's one of the most expensive hotels we've stayed in, I think, but also one of the very smallest rooms. So we've moved to an Airbnb, so we've got a little bit more space, 
excellent Wi-Fi. It's a fantastic Airbnb. We'll definitely yeah. link it in the notes. Yeah. Um, Jesus has been fantastic and yep. helpful and there's loads of space and it was a really good price. So yeah. just perfect. Totally. So um, we are going to rest up tonight now. Um, we're going to um, take a bit of a chill. We're going to see how I am in the morning, make a decision and then uh, we'll take it from there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the plan. Cool. So in the meantime, we're going to drink some more of this. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And we will see you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Bye. Right, we're on our way out from the Airbnb. So I've ditched the crutches. I've got my gels in my um, sandals and I've got my socks, socks on. on. So I look typically British. We're gonna go out, we're gonna go to the cathedral. We've got our credentials, Louise. Uh, we've got them with us. Um, and we're gonna go and get ourselves a stamp for today. And um, then we might go and have a beer. Because um, that's always a good thing to do when you've had um, tablets. So, anyway, here we go. No sé cómo estás, mami. Te quería preguntar cómo remix si estás, mami. Wow. That's stunning. Here we are. The Cathedral of Lyon. <laughs> so it's the hottest part of the day, so we've decided to come out, haven't we, kids? Yeah, just to fry ourselves. Well, and actually, the cathedral will be nice and cool. Isn't like back in England, the hottest part of the day, like one to three? Yeah. But if here, it's, it stays hot until like eight o'clock, because I was looking at the weather forecast, and it was saying it's going to be 34 until nine. <laughs> right, which the entrance? What was the other side? See. Hola, buenas tardes. Hola. Hola. Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Four o'clock? Are you sort us out there? Sort of fat, it's too hot. Yeah, it's not fat, it's too hot. Yeah. stamped at the cathedral in Leon yeah. right and I was trying to find the space right and we have <sighs> completed a whole side no way. and had our first stamp on the back I've just found out that Cara and Nate are doing a $28,000 Orient Express trip and the food isn't that great. <laughs> <laughs> but I get it, and it does sound spoiled, but I get it at the same yeah, time. Yeah. Like for $28,000, you'd expect it to be the yeah, best the 28, yeah. ever. The $28,000 are on the dollars, um, are on the um, like room and stuff. Aren't yeah, they? yeah, and so having the, the, room private and room the private room and, and the, the suite service. and the service and the I butler. Bet you, and... I bet you, though the food isn't actually that good, it's really, really Oh, yeah. Good. It's like really, 
portion yeah. like expensive. Yeah, she said it's good, it's just not, oh my god, $28,000. Right. Which, like, really expensive food always turns out to be just in the Yeah, meh. Yeah, totally. So, Lou, <laughs> are we booking the Orient Express $28,000? Carriage. Only when we have a million subscribers on YouTube and they like ask us to do it. Exactly. So what do the, what do our viewers need to do? Subscribe and like. <laughs>